Hey guys, my name is Alex and I'm here with and today we're going to show an awesome bachata combination. Don't forget to stay back because we're going to break it down for you fully. See you in a bit. All right, so let's get started. So it starts with an ear chop, and so you're going to take your right hand, you're going to step out. One, two, place your hand on the shoulder, three, go four, and you're going to do an inside turn for the follower on five, six, close hand on seven, eight. From here, you're going to do a rock step, so you're going to rock in one, you're going to push her back, two, you're going to push further, three, and stretch out on four, so you can't live without her. And then from here, you're going to pull her around you as you step in place on five. Here's a trick. Six, you're going to tap with your right foot. Seven, eight. And the reason for that is you want to switch to the follower's lineman. From here, you're going to unwrap into a basic one, two, three, four. And then from here, you're going to do a slow skating on five. So if we show you this part, it's going to look like this. Five, six, and seven, eight. For followers, you're going to be doing a syncopation. So instead of just doing a basic, Followers, you can add a little pizzazz. So, as leaders are going to step five, hold the six. Followers are going to go and seven, eight. From here, your right hand leaders is hammer lock behind your back. You're going to clone on basic one, two, three, four. You're going to send out your partner and do a turn yourself on five, six. You're going to come out earlier, seven. You're going to slide in and you're going to go to a close embrace on eight. From here, it's one of my favorite moves, kind of like a tango slide. And uh, so, we're just going to slide over just in case catch this on camera, you're going to go diagonal leaders with your left foot out on one, hold the two, use your knee to bump her straight along an angle, five, six. Oh, I did that wrong, that was counting. All right, let's try that again. We're going to go one, two, you're going to go three, four, you're going to step out five, six, seven, eight. From here, you're going to do a dip, so you're going to lean forward one, two, you're going to turn to your side three, and you're going to take your right hand, place it on her back on four. You're going to lunge back, and you're going to go five, six legs. You're going to keep your form really tight. You're going to use your left, right leg to go seven. You're going to come up on the eight. You're going to slide that foot in. Then you're going to do a basic two, three, four. Okay, right, let's cover the ending part. It's a super popular dip. I want to make sure we do it right. Okay, so for these slides, we're going to go from this angle right here. Just the uh, table slide. Let me go real quick. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, so we're going to go on that angle. Uh, you'll notice that, you know, uh, not in my case always, but uh, you, you, you tend to be probably taller than your partner as a leader. And so what I want to say is when I slide my partner Shelly's leg out, if you go too high, she's going to fall over if you notice that. So I just help her slide on the third count. So if we go slow, uh, we're going to go out watch slowly. One, two, you're going to go three, let her plant on four, settle. Then you're going to go down five, six, using your hands, and you're going to bump seven, eight. All right, for the dip part of it, um, so I kind of call this like a trust fall, and so if we go from this angle, so you can see my left side, I'm going to go in one, two, I'm going to take my right hand slide to her lower back, three, and I'm going to angle to the side on the four. There's two simple ways to do it. One is you can have your actual upper body pressed in, so just your partner feels more support here, or you can have a little bit of a trust fall and then you can have a gap. More importantly is, um, one, do this with a partner that you already know, that you feel safe with. Uh, it's not something you should force on your partner, that's definitely... Two, you'll notice that when I step out and I bring my partner in, I go lower than my partner, and then I slide the foot in. So you don't want to do a kick, kind of looks like this. And I feel really like I'm doing this, this, and then that. Why? Because as you slide in, you're giving your partner real support, and also both feet are on the ground. If your partner loses balance, for example, very quickly, if, if she goes, oh, she's falling, you can slide and retract and come back comfortably into that. Um, oh no, just have a have a blast and yeah, I mean thank you so much for watching. We love you guys.
Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you on the dance floor.